All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So we got another cryptic message from the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter account. Now, we don't usually get like back-to-back -back cryptic messages. I think this has only happened like even less than a handful of times, but we at least have a stronger clue as to what we can expect from the 2022 Legends Festival. Now, we did have the cryptic message from last night and it was a blue circle that turned to like a warmer, like pink slash like reddish color, right? And we speculated that it was, you know, potentially Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, or even Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. However, today's cryptic message gives us a significantly stronger hint as to what it could be. So you guys are seeing the image on the screen right now. It is, of course, some vanilla ice cream with seven blueberries on it. But the order in which the blueberries are placed on the ice cream are obviously very important. That's going to be like the dead giveaway as to what the unit is. So one, obviously, we have practically ultimate confirmation that yes, Legends Festival is GT related. So make sure that your GT teams are ready to go. But this is very clearly hinting at Omega Shenron. It's anybody that would think of anything apart from that is insane. So yes, this cryptic message is very clearly hinting at Omega Shenron. Now, here's where things get confusing. How prevalent is this going to be? Because note, we have received cryptic messages in the past where we get one and it's not necessarily, uh, not necessarily related to a sparking unit. Prime example is when we got Yurin in the game. We got a cryptic message for her, but she ended up being an EX unit. So it's not an impossibility for them to actually give us cryptic messages leading into units that may not be sparkings. Now I'm not saying, I mean, this is Omega Shun. There's, there's no way in the world that he's not going to be a sparking unit. But I think the main question for this is, is he just going to be a sparking unit or is he going to be an LF unit? Now, I would actually like for him to be an LF unit because one, it's kind of weird that he's not one. I mean, he has the negative karma ball, like that alone is LF worthy, but uh, we still don't have that as an LF in the game yet, which is actually kind of weird. But uh, if it's not an LF unit and he's just a general sparking, then who is the main LF unit going to be? And especially since it's Omega Shenron, I mean, is it? No, it's actually not too early to get another Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because the last one we got was over a year ago. He was the third anniversary headliner. Uh, I, I, I would actually put more faith in us getting a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta at this point. But even though I'm not opposed to the idea I don't know if Fusion Warrior really needs a buff right now. Like, I mean, they do have good units, but I wouldn't say that they're at the best spot either. I mean, what, Fusion Warrior, you have uh, Ultra Super Go uh, Super Vegito as the yellow unit. You have uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as the green unit. For the blue unit, it would be Vegito Blue. Your red unit on that tag, I think is still actually Fuse Amasu Half Corrupted. And your purple unit on that tag is Zenkai Super Vegito. So, uh, I guess if they wanted to buff Fusion Warrior, I guess that's fine. I mean, they could definitely use a new red unit. They could definitely use a new blue unit, but, oh wait, no, 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 I forgot. Um, Fusion Warrior has Ultra Super Gogeta for the blue unit as well. So, uh, they can definitely use a new red and purple unit. New red and purple unit for sure. But uh, the thing is, that's for Fusion Warrior. GT needs a buff. So, well, actually, they could make it a double edge um, thing and knock out two birds with one stone and just give us a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that's a purple unit. Because if that's the case, not only does Fusion Warrior finally get a new purple unit, but so does GT, which GT really needs a new purple unit. So, I, I don't know. Um, it's, it's strange but it, it could 
honestly play out like that if not that then again i'm still holding out hope for a tag super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta i think the, personally speaking like apart from like uh you know characters to a degree right if this was hinting at like an lf omega shenron and he's the main headliner i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna be that excited for that like if he's like an lf or like one if it's like a double banner then like you know um or not double a dual banner like you know one banner for one unit and, and another one for another unit and he was like an lf unit for a particular banner okay sure so long as the other lf unit is more exciting than that right it's kind of like uh the same um situation that sort of hope trunks was in where everybody was waiting for that unit to finally release but when they finally released him they released him alongside tag super saiyan blue goku and vegeta and that unit in terms of hype anyway got entirely overshadowed and that's an understatement so i really don't want them to do something similar this time around where instead of it just being like one of the units being super hype and one being just a you know a unit that should have been in the game for a very long while i want it to be two crazy hype units that we know we will all lose our mind for and there's no way in the world they don't know that the the player base the fans of dragon ball legends want a tag super saiyan uh super saiyan blue a tag super saiyan or goku and vegeta granted i mean i i would say the only way they can probably get away with not actually doing um them as a tag unit is if they have a brand new mechanic remember legends festival always brings a new mechanic every single year even before it was called legends festival last year we got the tag mechanic the year before that we got the unique gauge so i'm expecting a new mechanic and in all honesty we might actually be going towards a fusion mechanic it's the only thing that makes sense at this point because if they're hyping up omega shenron you're gonna have to have something even more hype than that and yes having like a tag super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta would be hype yes having super saiyan 4 gogeta would be hype but if you're able to have super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta fuse into gogeta that would be unbelievable fusing mid game is something people have been wanting for a very very long time to happen in legends and this might be the opportunity for them to do it so again all we can do at this point is speculate but at the very least we can kind of say that omega shenron is definitely a shoo-in for the uh legends festival but the other units to come we're probably not going to find that out because i expect this to be the final cryptic message we get because the next day will be the reveals and stuff and that's when we'll find everything out but i do want to know what you guys think about all of this information in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.